Applejack, what are you doing <laughs> under the futon again? You're usually very active and very cuddly. like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to um, live on the spectrum. I will also um, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And uh, I will cover things, cover topics that I'm passionate about. And also, I wanted to let you guys know that my videos are going to have more of the day in the life of Maya theme, uh, which will include times in those videos where they have a beginning, middle, and the end. And I will talk about the topics um, that I'm passionate about, but I'd like you guys to see how I live my life. And right now, as you can see, I'm in my bathroom and uh, this is how my bathroom looks. Um, I uh, have a huge vanity right behind me, and uh, this is my standing shower behind me, and um, I am going to uh, take a shower in a little bit, but first I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast. So uh, this is my kitchen right in here, and uh, I one of my favorite things I like to have for breakfast is, uh, where are they? I typically like to do eggs in the morning and then I like to eat turkey bacon because uh, the regular bacon is just one, it's too salty for me, and two, I just uh, don't like the taste of it. The reason why I like turkey bacon is not because of the calories, it's because uh, I like the taste of it and it, it, yeah, and it's not as messy. So, yeah, but. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting ready in the morning and uh, I'm going to uh, brush my teeth and then get ready for uh, breakfast and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and after that, I am uh, getting ready to uh, head off to the airport today. So this is my newest cat, Applejack Mac, and she does not like being held. Isn't she a beauty? But anyway, I wanted to mention that I got her at Java Cats in Atlanta uh, last year for my birthday for two reasons. Again, as I said, I had lost my cat Yeller, who was a stray cat, and uh, he pretty much adopted me because um, I fell in love with him as he was really sweet and very uh, lovable. And he started following me around everywhere, and I just fed him, and eventually it got to a point where I had to keep him inside, but anyway, uh, I got her for two reasons. Number one, I missed Yeller because uh, he was my first baby and basically adopted me, and the second reason was because uh, it was my 36th birthday and it came to me that I would get a cat on my birthday, just that thought. Like, and so, on uh, the uh, 24th of October, which was my 36th birthday, I decided uh, that there was this cat there that I liked at the time. Her name was Olivia Mac and I am really a huge fan of Orange Kitties, so um, I got her at the uh, one of my favorite places to go grocery shopping and sometime I'll have to uh, film there and talk about some of my favorite products but um, I uh, have this grape juice that I bought from Trader Joe's which is this stuff it is so good so uh, that's what I'm gonna have this morning for breakfast and then uh, check out this egg Juicy. Jack, don't even think about it. So, uh, Applejack. 
Jack has a problem with uh, wanting to jump up on my desk in my office here in my condominium. And I have uh, had to shoo her down. I have tried everything to spray her with water. Anyway, I wanted to let you know, I'm just sitting here at breakfast and I, uh, I'm having this egg. I, uh, of course, didn't have uh, the turkey bacon because I ran out of it. Um, and then I'm also having some, having some apple that I cut up. And then I also have some uh, olives that I got at the store the other night. Uh, they're like Greek olives, but they're down here on the plate. So, mm. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm. 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 Uh. This apple is really tart compared to uh, the grape juice, which is not so tart. But then try this olive. Mm. Mm. It's salty. So, um, and then I have this egg. And of course, uh, when I was a kid, I couldn't handle the, um, the over easy yolk. I always preferred to have my yolk over hard, my yolk over hard because it was easier for me. And in fact, there was a time where, um, I was so sensitive to, um, over easy yolks that it would cause me to get sick. So, I mean, that's changed as I'm maturing. And uh, I like to mix my over easy yolks with my turkey bacon. Or if, sometimes if I have toast and I put the, uh, it, you know, the runny yolk over the toast, I like that. So, uh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to let you know that I live about uh, six blocks away from the uh, MARTA bus stop because I live in Gwinnett County and the reason there's a problem is because there are people in surrounding counties of uh, Fulton and DeKalb and parts of Cobb that do not want MARTA transportation in their cities because of two reasons. Number one, higher taxes and number two because of uh, they think that there's going to be more crime in their cities and um, I think that's really silly because there are lots of people that depend on MARTA, depend on their trains to get to work. There are people that just plain can't afford a car and they, uh, they're low income and lots of disabled people, or people with human detour systems included, that cannot get around. So there's been a constant battle in the MARTA is trying to find ways to expand into Gwinnett County. And the last I heard, I thought that they finally started to get a red light from Gwinnett County, which is where I live. So. Um, Anyway, I wanted to let you know where I'm going. So, I am headed to the bus stop this morning to uh, head to the airport and no, I'm not uh, going anywhere. But the reason why I'm dressed up is because uh, I just got, got suggested to serve on the ADA committee at the uh, Hartsfield Jackson International Airport because I have been getting involved with these Autism Airport rehearsal tours and as you know I've written a series of blogs on WordPress on my ideas and how they need to be uh, utilized so I'm going today to do a presentation as a guest but I filled out an application and um, when I got when I uh, sent the application they said welcome aboard so as far as I know I'm on this committee and uh, I'm in the process of um, helping someone named Amani, and her job is to, uh, her suggestion to me was to find some enrichment for um, 
uh, people with um, human detour systems or quote people with special needs to find some form of enrichment while they're waiting in the airport or while they're in hanging in the area with kids and so I'm gonna do that uh, but uh, I'm going to have lunch today with the uh, ADA committee and then uh, I'm going to be uh, sitting in this meeting and uh, basically um, networking and giving out my business cards. So this is a big, big deal. I uh, first got accepted in, um, what was it? I first got accepted in December uh, last year, right before uh, Georgia State University closed for two weeks and I was just really looking forward to it. Now, uh, last week we were supposed to have the meeting but for some odd reason, they postponed the meeting till today. So um, I look forward to it. Um, yeah. to the airport and I'd take this train anyway because
wait to meet everybody. Luckily, I have my business cards for networking, and I can just hopefully uh, email those PowerPoints to uh, other members of the ADA committee. So, without further delay, I'd like to let you know that I'm going to sign off now. If you like what I'm doing, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to uh, comment below and share these vlogs with anybody in the autistic community and the general population as well. Uh, we need to raise as much autism awareness and acceptance as possible. And also be sure that I do vlogs every uh, Sunday and Monday. And uh, be sure to look for those. Um, anyway, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. So today, HMS Host is asking everybody to share the love and to tell people what love means to them on our board that we have behind me. Um, it's a chalkboard, and everybody's just sharing what love means to them individually. All right, let me let me try that real quick. Please do. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.